Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will see how we can bring some features of Windows 11 back to the classic view. Maybe you missed the classic view or just want to have Windows looking more simple. We need to use two applications in order to do that. I strongly recommend that you don't try to install these apps unless you have some computer knowledge or someone to help you because they can behave in an inappropriate manner. I, I did have some problems with them. I actually uh, made another user account to be sure it won't break my Windows settings. There is not a standard classic theme in Windows, unfortunately, so there's no setting in Windows that you can use to change the classic theme. The first app we're going to use today is called Open Shell Menu. To find it, just look for Open Shell GitHub on the internet and look for the address that says github.com slash openshell slash open shell menu and open the page over here you need to left click on the version here under releases on the right and here we can download the open shell setup left click to download I'm gonna open the, f the program and here I'm going to click next, accept the license agreement. You may want to read it beforehand. Over here, I strongly recommend that you just keep the open shell menu because the other items didn't work very well. So just the open shell menu and the update if you want. And then left click on next and left click on install. This will take a moment or two in the meantime. I'm just going to close two of the tabs and just leave the search open and minimize Microsoft Edge. The user account will ask for permission. And right now it's finished. So I'm going to left click on finish over here and see how we can use the application. Beforehand, I just want to move the icons on the taskbar to the left. So to do that, just right click on the taskbar left click on taskbar settings and after that here under taskbar behaviors left click to expand we'll find the taskbar alignment and using the button you can left click and select left just like that and right now we want to open uh, the open shell app I'm gonna left click on start and go to all apps over here and if you scroll down to till you reach the O section that's too much you'll find open shell left click to expand the folder and then left click on open shell menu settings this is the program itself we're going to have a look at the classic style, so I'm going to left click on this little radio button to enable it. And let's try replacing the start button with the classic one and see what happens. OK, so that's that's done the job. I'm going to left click on OK right now and close this app. At the moment, if we click on the start button, we have the old start menu and let's see how we can turn the taskbar into a classic taskbar. I'm gonna go back to Microsoft Edge and this time look for retro bar on the internet and go to the address on GitHub that says slash dreaming slash retro bar. You can see the address over here and right now we want to left click on the program name again under releases like we did the last time and scroll down and install uh, download retro bar for your operating system version we're gonna download the 64-bit retro bar I'm gonna left click on show in folder over here 
and just extract it. Right click and left click on extract all and left click on extract. So right now we have ritual bar in our downloads. What you may want to do is just bring this folder to the desktop for easy access. So I'm going to run the ritual bar app right now so you can see how it looks like. Windows will treat this app as uh, dangerous because it's unrecognized. I'm going to left click on run anyway. And we should see the taskbar. Yes, it's returned to the classic view. This is interesting, I believe. We also have the old start menu from the Open Shell app. And if you right click on the the classic taskbar, you have the option to, to change its properties. So I'm gonna left click on properties right now. And over here, you can change different settings. You can change the language, the theme. Let's see how a different theme looks like. For example, Windows XP Classic. And Windows Vista Basic. Okay, so I believe it behaves pretty well. I tried some different apps that uh, promised to change your theme to classic and they did work in the past, but probably Windows has updated and they don't really work anymore. For example, you can't really press the close button on the Windows and they have a lot of um, malfunctions, so to say. You can also, if you go here at RetroBar, enable RetroBar to automatically start at login. Log on. When I tried this, unfortunately, it didn't load the three the quick settings icon. So the sound, the local area network, and yeah, the three and the battery as well. So there were some problems with these icons. I, for that, I would recommend that you maybe manually open it after starting Windows and hopefully it will behave normally in that way. But you can try to experiment with this if you want. There is a, an app called Simple Classic Theme. I tried to use it, but like I said, most of the features don't work as expected, probably due to the fact that Windows has updated a lot since they released the app. So it's up to you to judge after watching this video Thank you for watching and staying with us, guys. Subscribe for future tips.